There's coming a point, people, where God's going to judge you. Not Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg won't judge you. Snoop Dogg's lyrics, they won't judge you. Don't, don't, don't uh, think that because Snoop Dogg says some gin and juice is okay or some marijuana is okay. Don't think God says it's okay. Not even Snoop Dogg can change God's mind about sin. God still says sin is wrong. He said it was wrong 2,000 years ago. He said it was wrong 4,000 years ago. He hasn't changed his mind today. Sin is still wrong. Repent. Turn from sin. Turn to Christ. You're going to die someday. The Bible says your life is but a vapor. Your life on this earth is but a vapor. If you smoke weed, you're going to be exhaling some smoke some vapor and it will just disappear a few seconds later that's what your life is that's what your life is God is but a vapor of smoke you're going to die relatively soon some sooner than uh, others be ready to meet God on judgment day God's a holy God God uh, God is not a God who uh, listens to Snoop Dogg he doesn't uh, rejoice in what Snoop Dogg says and rejoice in what Tech 9 says, he didn't rejoice in any of what these artists say. What God says is, repent and believe the gospel of his son, Jesus Christ. Christ is the only one who can save you. Snoop Dogg did not live a sinless life and die on a cross and resurrect for your sins. I think we can know that from the fact that Tupac is not resurrected. I think we can know that from the fact that Biggie has not resurrected. So if they didn't resurrect, they're not your savior. The only one who can save you from sin is Jesus. So why are you spending three hours at a Snoop Dogg concert? You can't even spend one hour in the Bible a day. You spend three hours at a Snoop Dogg concert. You can't spend three hours in prayer. Spend three hours at a Snoop Dogg concert instead. You need to get your priorities rearranged, people. Don't be going to church tomorrow morning thinking that you're all right with God while you live in sin on Saturday night. God says you got to forsake your sins to be forgiven. That's a Proverbs 28:13. He who, conf- who he who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsakes his sins will obtain mercy. You want God's mercy? You want God's love? You ought to be showing love towards God by doing what He tells you to do. You wouldn't say you love your spouse or your significant.